Albright was looking to get off to a fast start on Saturday, much like it did in its 79-0 victory over Norwich in the opening round of the NCAA playoffs. But it was the Purple Raiders who got off to a fast start. Mountain Union took over after an Albright 3-and-out and marched 70 yards in 13 plays to take a 7-0 lead. Tari Scott connected with Jordan Hargrove for a 19-yard touchdown with 8.31 to play in the first quarter. The Purple Raiders turned in their first big play of the afternoon on the Lions' next drive. Brian Groves blocked a Kevin Coates punt, and Colin Crenshaw recovered the block punt in the end zone, increasing the Mountain Union lead to 14-0 with 6.28 to play in the first quarter. Mountain Union took over at midfield following another Albright three and out and needed just five plays to extend the lead to 21-0. Logan Namath plunged in from a yard out to extend the Purple Raiders' lead with 2.44 to play in the first period. The Lions appeared poised to get back into the game early in the second quarter. Senior linebacker Steve Barroso intercepted a Scott pass at the Albright 19-yard line to halt the Purple Raiders' scoring opportunity. Quarterback Mike Knight connected with Gerard Gaynor for 45 yards on the Lions' first play following the interception. But Knight was sacked on a third down play later in the drive, and Albright was forced to punt. The Purple Raiders responded with a back-breaking touchdown drive. Mount Union drove 90 yards in 15 plays and chewed up 6.30 on the clock to extend the lead to 28-0 when Namus scored from two yards out. Albright got on the scoreboard late in the first half. The Lions marched 73 yards in seven plays, and Knight capped the scoring drive with a 30-yard hookup to Kyrie Jefferson to cut the lead to 28-7. Mount Union answered the Lions' touchdown drive with one of its own right before halftime. The Purple Raiders took a 35-7 lead into the intermission when Scott connected with Tim Kennedy for a four-yard scoring pass. Namath, who rushed for 185 yards, pushed a Mount Union lead to 42-7 when he scrambled from 47 yards out on the Purple Raiders' first drive of the second half. Mount Union outscored Albright 24-0 for the remainder of the game. Albright concludes its season with a 10-2 overall record, while Mount Union improves to 12-0 on the season and advances to the quarterfinal round.